we have to agree with each other or else it's eventually gonna end up in war. Because what it boils down to is that, kind of like the battle for sperm, millions of sperm compete to fertilize the egg and the one that makes it, they win. Replace sperm with ideologies and replace the egg with the country. And the ideology that takes over the country is the one that wins because we're essentially functioning in different realities from each other. Some people believe in certain religions, which say one things are true, one things are real, one things aren't. Some people believe in more a science-based approach that says like DNA and atoms and whatnot are real, and some people don't even agree with that. So if a lot of people are just functioning in different realities of what's real and what's not, how can we come to effectively create a world where we can exist together if we don't even agree on what the world even is? Either we have to agree with each other, find a middle ground that we can agree on, and function together, or we're essentially just kind of like smiling, playing pretend with each other and pretending to be friends, when in reality, in the back of our minds, we want our ideology to win, to be the one that takes over the country and use force and power to uh, enforce the ideology and say, whether you agree with me or not, doesn't matter because we have the power, so we're gonna say that this is what's real, this is what you believe in, and this is what you do. Another alternative of the agree-disagree part would be just to be like, okay, we all exist in the same country, but then you get that state, or you get that location, or you get that area. And that area is your reality, this area is my reality, and then vice versa. And that could work, as long as we find some kind of balance, but that could ultimately cause problems as well. That'd be the most peaceful option, I think. Creating locations where you can have your own, your own realities.